I'm, I'm deeply humbled and honored to be appointed the next Poet Laureate of Vermont and to follow in the remarkable tradition of Poet Laureates from Vermont, uh, starting with Robert Frost, and then after about a 20-year hiatus, uh, jumping to Galway Cannell, and then Ellen Bryant Voigt, Louise Gluck, uh, Ruth Stone, uh, Grace Paley, uh, Sid Lee, uh, and, and then myself. That's not the, the correct order, but it's pretty close. Um, but to be in that line of poets uh, is uh, overwhelming to me, and I uh, feel that um, I, I want to carry on, of course, the great tradition of poetry in Vermont to um, act as an ambassador and collaborator with other poets in Vermont, uh, visit li libraries, uh, nursing homes, schools, as well as uh, edit an anthology of Vermont poets uh, and interview Vermont poets, as well as I think is as far as my own poetic life is concerned, uh, continue writing as much as I can. Vermont uh, has just sort of naturally evolved into this community for, for artists. It's, a, of course, a beautiful state. Um, the landscape is inspiring. You take one look at Campbell's Hump or Mount Mansfield and Stowe or the ski areas, uh, as well as the as, as well as the hills in southern Vermont, uh, where I live, um, um, and, and feel uh, sometimes a little looked down on by those folks up in northern Vermont in the higher Green Mountains. Um, but the whole state is, is, just, is just gorgeous. It attracts, of course, tons of tourists during leaf season and maple sugaring time. But as a place to live, it's always been a really fiercely sort of independent state where people have lived by their wits and some uh, a lot of those a lot of uh, wit is reflected in the poetry. Um, we see that in poets, especially like Robert Frost. Uh, really, all of the uh, poet laureates, as well as others, um, Hayden Carruth, who was never poet laureate of Vermont, but but should should have been, lived up in Morrisville, um, is perhaps one, uh, one of the uh, most um, I don't know, careful. Uh, poets as far as, uh, and talented poets as far as capturing the wit and speech of, of Vermonters. Uh, so there's that New England wit with its own kind of Vermont brand uh, that reflects both the hardness of life in Vermont and, and the wisdom. And, um, and so that's, that's, just, that's just been most successfully um, recorded and uh, written about uh, by such poets as uh, the ones I've just mentioned.